Hi, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay, so I'm in one of those not totally sure what I want to talk about this time sort of weeks. Um, I did sort of briefly think about maybe uh, doing another like reading stuff and then talking about it kind of one. And then I realised I only technically did that last week. <laughs> or last week, like, for when this comes out. Uh, it's obviously, like, well, last week for me as well. It's like, I filmed it last week. Um, it's like, I don't really want to sort of do too many of them too close together whilst I'm still sort of trying to figure out, like, how I want to sort of go about doing them and whether or not they're going to, like, be more interesting overall than um, uh, the this sort of style of sort of like pre balling kind of stuff. Um, so I've sort of been in the kind of like, uh, I'm not totally sure what I want to talk about, but I've got like a few things um, in my head that I could sort of talk about. So, um... <laughs> Um, hmm. so it's a case of, you know, where do I kind of go from here on, on this vlog and now uh, how do I sort of direct this one? Um, so I guess kind of one of the things that has been on my mind quite a bit recently is to do with um, coming out as bi-gender um, and non-binary um, and some of the issues and changes that have kind of come along as a sort of result of that. Um, so for those of you who don't know, because I don't know if I clarified this in the last one that I talked about this in, um, I've decided to start going by they, them pronouns um, opposed to she, her or he, him. Um, so when I sort of first started trying to figure out what pronouns I wanted to sort of go with and this was sort of when I sort of started coming out to a few people but I hadn't really started coming out um I basically was like well I just want to try they them see how they them fit and then maybe um try some other stuff if if it doesn't work um you know that that was very much the kind of idea behind it um but this was back when I was still thinking it was more either gender fluidity or um grey gender or something, you know, a little bit more like that, um, rather than, than by gender. So this was sort of before I'd figured out that bit. Um, and then I sort of, after I kind of figured out that bit, um, I decided that they then made the most sense for me because it respects both sides of my gender. Um, and so, you know, it, to me, it makes perfect sense that, okay, yeah, push comes to shove, I might prefer he, him to, to they, them or she, her. Um, but if I were to, to go with that, I would probably be doing it at the expense of my femininity and, and my feminine side. Um, because the thing with finally allowing yourself to start fully exploring your gender and fully expressing your gender is that you do go through a phase of kind of rejecting everything that you had sort of focused on before, not deliberately, not, um, not necessarily intentionally um, or in a kind of like a malicious way, but because these are the parts of yourself, although they've, they've been there and you have been expressing them, but you've not been acknowledging them. Um, when you do sort of start acknowledging them, when you do start of, sort of start properly incorporating them into your existence and properly start going, OK, these these aren't just, you know, random stray thoughts in my head. These are a part of me. Um, they then have a tendency to kind of really push back and really fight and really take over because they spent so long just being this kind of background thing that although you haven't 100% ignored, 
you haven't really given enough encouragement to or haven't really given enough growth to. Um, so they then have a tendency to sort of like take over and become very dominant. And this is this is me talking about my own sort of personal experience um, rather than, you know, I, I, I know I'm sort of t- talking about it in a slightly general way, um, but I do know from other people that I've talked to that they've had similar experiences or they've gone through a similar process of, you know, once they kind of, you know, got to a point where they were starting to express the other side of themselves, they kind of almost dove in completely the opposite direction. And I know in some ways I've been like very tempted to sort of do that and very tempted to sort of like push back against all the all the sort of the feminine stuff, which is kind of unfair. <laughs> it's kind of unfair to that side of myself in the same way that not properly expressing it, acknowledging my masculine side all of these years hasn't been fair to myself. So um, even though, you know, there's a lot of things in my head at the moment that would rather be more dominated by this masculine side that, you know, I haven't fully expressed and explored before. I'm constantly trying to do things to remind myself that no, I am bi-gendered. There are two sides to my gender and I need to respect both those sides. I need to make sure that I am respecting all of myself. This this whole process is about learning, about me learning to respect myself as a whole completed being, um, acknowledging that I do have these very feminine traits, I do have these very masculine traits, and I do have a lot of these traits that are kind of mixed and muddled and sort of in between all of that. Um, and it's about learning that, you know, all of my life these things have been working in harmony, but I'm now acknowledging why they work in harmony. I'm now acknowledging that, you know, some of these more masculine traits are probably a lot more dominant in my personality than I've been allowed to, or been allowing myself to acknowledge before. Um, And a lot of like the feminine traits that I've sort of been trying to highlight and been trying to sort of push more to the forefront, I'm, I'm now kind of going, you know what, these are things I've you know, recognising which of those traits were ones that I was doing as a kind of mask and which of those traits were actually, you know, part of who I am, part of, of how I am. Um, like, you know, I, I love things that are cute. <laughs> I know I love things that are cute. Um, and like babying things that are cute. Um, so, you know, that that I'm kind of like, yeah, no, that is definitely a me thing. That's not just me trying to play into to this whole idea of femininity um, that I've been, you know, trying to mask with, whereas um, other things, I can't think of anything specific at the moment, because <laughs> it's like, it, 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 it can be like hard to, to sort of some, some of these things, it can be hard to sort of recognise, um, and, and some of these things have kind of like, kind of just dropped away on their own without me kind of really noticing them, um, which in a lot of ways is, it's just how life works um, more than anything else. So, um, but yeah, it, it's the, the balance has sort of changed. And although maybe in terms of like how my personality comes across, there hasn't been like this huge major difference from other people's point of view, from like an internal point of view, yeah, there's been there's been a lot of difference. There's been a lot of um, that, that acknowledgement that, you know, there are two sides to me, there are, you know, and they work in harmony most of the time and there's maybe slightly leaning more towards one way than to the other way and that can shift around a little bit but it's been more a a journey of kind of like accepting all of this and for me even though I know currently a lot of the time I'm leaning more towards my my masculine side of things because as I said I spent a lot of time kind of pushing it aside, kind of ignoring it, kind of not fully acknowledging that it's there and allowing this this feminine side of me, which wasn't necessarily as as comfortable to sort of be more dominant, there there's that pushback. Um, and although, as I said, you know, there is an inclination at the moment for me to kind of want to em- completely embrace that masculine side and completely ignore my feminine side, as somebody who is who is bi-gendered and wants to respect their dual gender identity, I know that I can't allow myself to do that. So, um, 
for me, using they, them pronouns is very important because it's an acknowledgement that I am not just masculine, I'm not just feminine, I'm both. And I know that's what it means to me personally. I know it can mean different things to different people, but to me personally, it's an acknowledgement that I am made up of these two sides that work in harmony together. Um, and I need to respect that. And in the same vein, other people need to respect that, um, which is kind of one of the reasons why it's been on my mind a lot. Um, Cause obviously I'm, I'm out at work. Um, and uh, they are getting better <laughs> at remembering to use they them pronouns um, with me but there are still slip ups um, I mean granted it's only been let's see uh, for most of them uh, I guess the beginning of December so like four or five months um, at the most um, where they've been sort of aware of this and, and stuff like that but yeah yeah it's <laughs> it's very much one of those situations where some of them are really good some of them are getting better um others of them especially the ones that i don't interact with a whole lot are still making mistakes and i'm not always confident enough to correct people um and the reason for that is they're not always talking to me when they're making the mistakes and I'm overhearing them. Um, so if they're talking to me directly or if they're talking to me where they know I'm in earshots and listening to them, then I'm absolutely fine with sort of like shooting them up in <laughs> or, uh, you know, nudging them and correcting them or whatever it is that is appropriate for the situation that we're in and the person that I'm talking to. It's like different people you'll deal with in different ways, like depending on like how often they slept up, how you know, aware you know they are of the situation. So I said, there are some people that I work with that I don't see a whole lot, so they're not as aware of the situation. Um, so yeah, depending on that, I you know I will kind of do it. But then there are other situations where I'm like across the room from them. Um, they're talking to somebody else. I like I might even have my back to them, so they they have no idea if I can hear them or not. And then I'm like, I can't really say anything. <laughs> I can't really say anything. Um, as I said, for the most part, they are starting to get better and they are starting to remember and, and sort of get a bit more used to it now. Um, so sort of depending on how often I kind of interact with them and, and stuff like that, there are definitely, definitely people I prefer being on shift with <laughs> because they, they're the ones that tend to be very good. Um, and then others, I'm kind of, I'm less on edge about it now than I was to begin with, because obviously to begin with, you're very, very sensitive to it because it's like a huge change and you're still sort of trying to find that sort of familiarity and com comfortability with yourself. Um, but at the same time, you know, speaking of, of the things that I've been speaking out, speaking about in this one, um, Obviously, as I said, it's a case of, yeah, I, I do understand why the mistake's happening. And yeah, it's, it's not great, but yeah, okay, it's it's just what, it just is what it is. Um, but the whole reason I've gone to they, them is so that I can respect that there are two sides of myself. As I said, you know, to begin with, it was more about sort of figuring things out. And now that I have things a bit more figured out, I know that using they, them, is me respecting the fact that I have two gender identities, uh, two genders, I am by gender, however you want to sort of put it or, or express it. Um, so to me, the people that I'm working with not remembering that feels like they're not respecting the two sides of, of my gender and, and I know that it's not that. <laughs> I know that it is just them sort of getting used to the situation um, as it is. And, you know, I, I try not to, you know, I don't feel frustrated about it. Um, I try not to feel too frustrated about it. 
if it's been a day where it's been particularly bad for people forgetting, it can make me feel a little bit down, a little bit low. Um, but for the most part, you know, I try not to let it get to me too much. Um, but yeah, it, it's 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 that sort of feeling that kind of creeps in where you know you, you feel like there are two sides of you and one side is being more acknowledged than the other side and you've spent your whole life not acknowledging this side as properly as you could have been acknowledging this side or as fully as you could have been acknowledging this side so when you sort of start acknowledging it and embracing it and then having other people kind of doing what you'd been doing and I know it's unintentional um, on, on their part they're not you know intentionally doing this to sort of suppress me or anything like that it's, it's not that situation it's just them adapting and learning and getting used to things as they are um, but it still very much feels like a reminder um, and, it, and it can make it uh, it can make it difficult it can make it very much uh, one of those situations where yeah it's not it's not great it's not fantastic it, but it's not malicious it's not you know these people aren't doing it to hurt me I don't know that but it's still that reminder of yeah I've spent a long time not acknowledging this part of myself and now other people not acknowledging this part of myself well I've started to embrace um so it can be can be a little bit like swings and roundabouts as I said I know the people I work with they're good people they're not <laughs> they're not doing it um out of malice they're not doing it to be mean they're not doing it to be disrespectful it's just they're still adapting and getting used to the situation and as I said they are for the most part improving um which is great which is what you want um but it's it's a difficult situation on on both ends and it's it's uh you can't help the way it makes you feel <laughs> um, even like when you're completely understanding you can't help the way it makes you feel and you know even though you know you know you know these people that you work with are not doing it to hurt you and I know they're not doing it to hurt me it can still feel yeah it, it can still feel just a little bit yeah <laughs> All right, okay, so um, I hope you found this one sort of interesting. I know it was a little bit babbly and all over the place, and I'm not sure how well I really expressed myself. Um, I'm hoping you kind of get what I'm trying to say here. Um, it's not like it's not one of those sort of straightforward, easy situations to kind of navigate and, and understand and whatever else. And, you know, I'm still in the process of fully unpicking everything and figuring myself out and embracing all of the parts of myself um, that I, I want to acknowledge and I want to, you know, fully embrace and, and whatever else. <laughs> I'm not doing a very good job of being completely clear in whatever, but... Uh, you don't you don't come into these expecting me to, to be coherent right <laughs> all right um so with that said um i hope you're looking forward to seeing whatever it is i'm going to be babbling about next time and i will see you next time see ya <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video feel free to check out some of my others and if you like what you see please like and subscribe see ya <laughs>